Hi guys, in text. today's video we will create I think we folded paper with text on it creating. and first, first create a rectangle. We need a text. I'd write anything you any, like, any color you like and size it. And Choose then a copy font. it. I use this one. Go to effect today. 3D extrude it's and be one. It's really clear and, and make it low out zero. Also, like it's the rotate tool that and makes the exact effect for this project. Something like but this. The only will difference is extrude and be one. Also includes and depth. Tina. Font. So I don't know if I want and to I'll create a background. Give it a depth. So I will a use this one background. But you can also use rotate tool. Maybe two. Kind it's like the exact same. Dark gray. And we will go with the isometric okay part. And first we will choose and isometric I'll make left. The lettering white. And click OK. There we have the first one. Okay. Again, create a copy effect. 3D, and create a copy ball. of it. Always. But first, click into effect. 3D, extrude and be wall. Or, is there you can only also a go button, to rotate? Today, I'll use rotate. And. Place it. We can use this one or make sure that they are matching. Create one more copy from one of these. Apply the same steps. Yeah, okay. And okay. Then there you go. Create a copy of it. And make the one in the back the same color with the background. Choose both. Go to object. One more copy. Blend with the same and steps. Make. The only thing that's changing is the perspective. And this one is at front. This and time this we will use the back. Eyes at the top. And we the thing is, one. isometric top and isometric bottom Bring are this exactly the same. The only thing is the color. Yeah. When you and choose, click again, go to object, Illustrator automatically gives it always a click darker to shade to, to give it a more depth. You're creating, and if you say top, it will. You can stay true to its distance. original color from here to see more realistic. Let's try. It looks like this. And to make it even more really realistic, cool. we will add but some little pieces. I want to resize it a little bit. Cool. Go to Effect 3D. Maybe try Extra one. Extrude view wall preview. It will look like depth zero. And isometric bottom. Just place okay. it to the also, end of the page. To make a more smooth, it will look like a gradient fold. I'll try to change its place it. opacity to zero. One more, and but the last one. Only the one in the back. Resize it again. Also, yeah, you can right make now it these looks in different sizes, weird, but we but will rasterize it when they are even. Will look it looks more realistic. Like. Click preview, make depth zero, and I move it around left a little. Okay, you can and place it. Make this fading or shadow. 
whatever you call it as long as you want just by selecting one of these two and moving it okay don't delete it put it somewhere here just in case and place your My illustrator paper. is a little bit small on the right artboard there. you are working with the effects to have a better view yeah yeah as you there can you see go. it's I will really also really create a long it's a really long shadow but we like don't want it that white color and I'll use this one which is a little warmer then lock it and let's create this one too I think again the same look really dark magic with the I wonder if I oops, change the color first go to effects 3D oh, no. rotate of axis no, no, no. front I'll take it back I don't like and it and done then copy it make the one in the back now we same are color with the background we choose to the lettering them, go card. to object blend create make. something write anything you like with any font you again like. take this and one i'll use put on bring it. it to the front i think that's how to and spell yeah. it I'm not sure, I'm sorry if it's wrong, but create outlines, click right and this say looks ungroup. too bold right now. You then can create not smaller groups. Read that it is the number three and so rotate them. I will 90 degrees. Make And the first one, the one, go this to is the one in the background, and I should and be able change it, change it, it's say to zero. I went right left, but first, don't forget to making the depth yeah. zero. There we go. Now place it yeah, on the screen. It. We will deal with the place and size later first I'll give them which again takes a lot of time give them <laughs> all effects again zero depth isometric bottom and okay and one more to go as you can see those two look different Go at the moment effect. even though they are the same the size and same font let's control zero, zero wide and I isometric left when you look at the blend options this one says specify and distance and it's one pixel size if you go to specified steps and make it a hundred yeah and replace them now they are the same to wherever you like and I'm going to place them in to the screen I think this looks fine And we are waiting again. Sorry, you can just wide, skip this part. No. <laughs> and create no. a copy of it didn't go well. The composition you it. created back to the just back. in case because in this phase these two are it still like a lyric. you can still edit them. Okay. I think we are so done it's with this. Easier to have a backup. Some extra information. 
this kind of looks good too this background like this you can create brochure mockups oh i like, like that. that or anything you like <laughs> that that again i think we can just font which is our own button background a little and the creator of it is jim batista batista light Bodoni. I hope and it's this right. is too light again. And the year that it's created, it's which is 1798. No. And okay. I'll turn them into small Now caps. again, choose this. Go to then object. Select them all. Click rasterize. Create and outlines. Be sure that the background is transparent. You don't need to change. Fact. 3D. Another thing. Okay. Say preview. Make the depth zero. Again, we're zero. waiting for rasterizing. And isometric top. Yeah, we've got it. And for the now we need to place them. And yeah, there we have it. Now, rasterize this one too. Again, go to object, say rasterize. If and you select them, then go to object and say XP, expand it. I appearance. changed it to 72. DPI because the other one took a really long time it to complete. complete. Easier to replace. As you can see, this looks like a final one, but I think in this composition, the shadow is way too long, more than it should. So I'll create a shorter one. From now on, it's basically just replacing it. So we are actually done with it. Composition we have. Again, I'm gonna change this one too. Especially if you are writing a longer sentence, it's better for you to create short shadows. It will be I easier to I manage. To a little dot. I'm just gonna lock this black one. And first make this and the original color. We will get and lock it. Effect. I'm gonna move this so you can see the difference. Of course, we need to rasterize the ice top. I want this to be in the level of the text, this text. Okay. I yeah. have a feeling we can and make it even shorter. We did it. Why not? Just Thank you like so that. much for watching my video and I hope that it's helpful. If you like it, don't forget I to give it, it a thumbs up. Has been way too short. Also don't forget to subscribe <laughs> to my channel. channel. Thank you. No! Okay, now you will turn them into a shape and rasterize it.
now you can see what I meant when I said the shorter one is more manageable decomposition in these two groups are nearly the same and in fact it's exactly the same but this one looks more put together which is exactly because of the length of the shadow and there you go thank you for watching my video if you liked it give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel